Hi everyone, it's Miss Urquhart. The topic of today's video is help, my internet is slow. Something that drives us all crazy when our internet is slow and we're trying to get some work done, especially during distance learning when everyone's using the internet. So let's look at some things we can do that may be helpful. First thing we can look at is moving our modem or our hotspot to the best location in our house. And research shows that the best location is the center of the house, not in a corner, like where I have mine, not a good idea. Also, to have your modem or your hotspot on a table or a shelf rather than on the floor, it's going to work better if it's elevated some. If your modem has an antenna, like the one in this picture, you want it to be pointing straight up. If it doesn't have one, that's not something that you can try. What else can you do to help your internet to be a little faster? Well, research has shown that if you keep your modem away from other electronic devices, it will work better. They inhibit it or they slow it down. So things like our TV, speakers, power cords, even the little cute fairy lights and baby monitors, all of those electronic devices will slow our modem down, so we don't want to have it sitting by them. We want to have it close to our Chromebook or the device we're using, rather than having it interfere with all of those other devices. What can you try? If you're still having some super slow internet, you've moved it, it's in a better location, one thing you can do if you have a modem is to reboot your router regularly. And what you do to do that is you just unplug the power. You see where Jerry is pointing my little mouse? You would unplug the power and wait for 30 seconds and plug it back in. Now, when you do this, when you take away the power, you're not going to have internet. So you wouldn't want to do this while you're in the middle of a meeting. But maybe first thing in the morning, maybe at the end of the night, if you've been having trouble that day, you might want to reboot it so that it'll work better. The biggest thing that is giving all of us slow internet speeds is our data cap. The data cap means you get a certain amount of data every month. All of us, we have a certain amount. And when we reach that amount, whatever it is, after that, we'll still have internet but our internet will be slow. Something that you need to know is the month doesn't usually go from the first of the month to the end of the month. That's not how the billing cycles work. So what it, whatever your billing cycle happens to be, if you have your own internet, or even if you have a hotspot, this applies. So when you reach your data cap, you're still gonna have internet, but it's gonna be a lot slower than it was before. What else can you try? Well, you can always sit closer to your modem or your hotspot because when you get close, you're not having other things interfering with it. Something else to consider, are there a lot of devices that are using the internet at the same time, using a lot of bandwidth? So certain things require more internet. When we're doing video streaming, video calls, or online gaming, those things require a lot of internet. So if you're trying to do a video call for for your class and someone else at home is streaming a video on Netflix and somebody else is playing an online game, that's three things that are sucking up the internet all at one time. So consider what's going on with other devices, what else is putting a strain on that bandwidth. Something else you might want to consider is switching to a different internet provider. Maybe you have a provider that has different data limits, or maybe it's time to shop around. The last advice that I will give you, just like always, is be patient. We all have those days, it seems like, when our internet is slower than other days, and it is very frustrating. But you do the best that you can. Be patient. Take a deep breath and know that we're going to get through all of this. Hope this helps. See you soon.